Hey, it's Jody. I have a new process video for Pink Fresh Fridays, and today I am using the beautiful Simply the Best collection. It is very, um, I want to say masculine, boyish. I don't know. I love the colors, um, so I grabbed some of it. I gra actually, I grabbed a lot more than I thought at um, the Fabulous paperissues.com. I also felt like getting messy, so I grabbed a Vicky Booten stencil and of course our trusty Distress Oxide inks. Did a little blending through the stencil. I don't make you watch all of it because yes, my camera is connected to my table. <laughs> I just, um, yeah, um, we're just not that brave to try to put a camera on the ceiling. I don't know, or I guess we've never tried mounting it to another table and reaching over. I don't know. Anyway, I then I got extra messy with some water and using the imprint of the stencil. So. I actually love how it turned out. Um, it, it, you know, the stencil print didn't come out as crisp as um, it has before, but that's okay. I, um, I really like how it turned out. Anyway, there's a whole paper of these strips. Um, I guess they're probably what two by three cards. <laughs> And um, I thought we have got to do something with those. So first I just trimmed them out and then I decided um, to trim off the end. So it's just like three cards. And then, um, and then I completely changed my mind, but that's okay. I put a little vellum behind my picture, give it a little rough edge it actually just kind of tears the vellum which I love um, so yeah I do that and my background is already dried I just used regular craft stock uh, cardstock um, it didn't warp at all so um, you know if you just watch how much water you use you don't always have to use you know watercolor paper or mixed media paper or prime it, but um, you know, wherever the water fell is how it's gonna stay. So as long as you don't mind that, um, then you know, don't worry about that part. But um, like I said, I love how the background turned out. So um, so I do kind of play with my stripes. I decide to break one up, so it looks like my picture is over one. And of course I give everything a little distressed edge, nothing crazy. I don't shred it, but, um, just enough to break up those clean lines and have a little dimension to my page. I also pop up my picture. Now I'm currently using the Dollar Tree mounting adhesive rectangles that you find like next to the paint area. I've used these for years. They are a perfect thickness. Um, and yeah, you get like a whole roll for $1.25. So I'm just going to keep using them. Um, I did use <coughs> adhesive foam sheets that were just like one sided adhesive. And I still have a whole stack of those, but this just makes it so easy. Both sides are sticky. They come apart for you. Um, so yeah, are they going to last forever? I don't know, but they're doing good enough for me. And um, I'm also using some of that miracle tape from Scrapping in the City because... I just don't know what kind of tape runner to use. I do not like the ATG gun. I had one. Let it go. It's just too big for me. Um, and then I got the scrapbook.com one. And I really liked it. And then 
they've all just kind of stopped working so I don't know if it's I just need a new a whole new thing that maybe it's all gunked up I don't know anyway if you have any suggestions for a good tape runner that I could just refill that's not the ATG gun let me know um, not that I don't like the miracle tape that works great it's just you know who has time to take off the other side all the time right but it does work really well anyway <clears throat> so I add I this was my first layout with this collection so it took me a minute to decide what I wanted to use and um, it didn't need much more between the um, the strips of pattern paper and the background but I did want to add the date that is going to be my number one rule from now on is to have the date because I think that's important and uh, it gives you you know yeah you want to know when you took it where you were what you were doing right so at least that's what I'm gonna hope but um, I do pop up a couple of cute circles and then I find a little banner and a little sticker to go with each of those I'm kind of thinking why did I put anything above the totally awesome um, but that's okay I don't mind I'm gonna let it go not a problem um, so yeah that's it yeah I add some spotters just because all the pattern paper was just too perfect for me I know some of you like that but if I'm gonna get messy buddy I'm gonna get messy so there you go some <clears throat> splatters a little bit of water splatters just to get those distress oxides moving and there's my final page thank you to miss Joanne for hosting this hop and thank you for each of you for watching please hop along give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe thank you so much bye bye